at the screen. Yo, what is going on? Welcome, welcome to another fun edition of Tuesday with Todd. If your first time here, thank you. If you're on Team Replay, thank you as well. Uh, make sure, leave a comment down below. How's the show? You know, let me know. Good, bad, ugly, I don't care. Just talk to me. Uh, if you're live here, let me know where you're from. How's the weather in your area? It is uh, blazing hot today. We had some storms roll through this morning. It's in at 90 some degrees. It is not pretty. It is hot and humid here in the great, great Midwest area. On tonight's show, I don't know if anybody caught it today, but you know, I've been I've been holding out for you. We've had Caesar DTV, the Easy Color DTV, has been released today. So, a couple things with that. We're gonna. I uh, I got a new printer, brand new. You know, this is the second one. First one I I, I might have had an altercation with. Uh, second one had installed in five minutes. It's the way that it works. So we're gonna. Uh, I didn't, all I had was a laser printer. I didn't have an inkjet printer. This product can be used with an inkjet printer. This product can be cut by hand. This cut product can be cut by a craft cutter or your graph cutter or your uh, craft cutter, your graph your graph tech cameo. It can be cut with all of that. Um, you do not need a mask with it if it's a single object. But if you're deciding to weed, mask is recommended. If there is a, an easy mask that comes with it. Uh, I believe Patrick's going to be here in the comments. So hopefully he can answer some more for us if we need it. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about that. So fun and exciting day. Uh, it is, it is, it's going to be fun. Uh, this is something that, one, somebody asked me about how to use your graph tech uh, to do cut and print. Because a lot of people didn't know that you can set registration marks on your artwork in printout, and then you can run it through the graph tech, and the graph tech will go ahead and read those. Yeah, yeah, the graph tech is a print cut machine. It's just on a bigger scale. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to show you, you know, how to set up the artwork in Corel for that. Then we're going to show, you know, it printing out, which it's just really just printing out on, on an inkjet printer. That's it. You know, there's nothing fun and exciting then. Then we'll move the camera over to the cutter and show you how we set that up so it can do its thing because Corel will walk you through what needs to happen in order to make that work. So you're going to be able to then, hey, if you don't have, uh, if you've never done it before, it's something that you can totally do. Super simple, super easy. Uh, biggest thing is you're going to need some kind of cutting mat, you know, whether that's a cameo, uh, whether that's, a, you know, a TRW one, whether that's a solo one, whether it's something else, that's what you're going to need is a cutting mat from you. So with that cutting mat, I think that way it has a base to, to go through. From here, you're going to weed it. And then if it's a single layer, you know, you can just peel it off and uh, go ahead and press there. If it is a something with a lot of open voids and things like that, you don't need a mask for, you will need a, a mask uh, for that. Uh, they have their easy mask, their TTD easy mask, I believe is what it is. It's what we use for all of our, um, for our printed HTV too. Now, Word Round Campfire says that this product is going to come, is going to be available by the rolls as well. Uh, it's super thin, uh, you know, so it's not going to have, uh, you know, it's not a heavy feeling fabric and not a feeling thing. First, I can make sure before I get all into this, how's the mic sound? How's the mic sound good? Because, you know, hey, we've had issues with everything else today. So it really wouldn't surprise me if the mic sounded like crap, because that's just how it goes, right? Uh, so as far as the easy color DTV is what it is, uh, the product is reach compliant. Uh, it is the, what it's certified, what is that? Okio Tex, is that right? Standard 100 class two, uh, vegan okay certified. So there's got a lot of uh, different it's certified there for it. Uh, as far as washing instructions, you're going to want to wait 24 hours before you wash it. Uh, you're going to uh, not dry clean and not use, um, you know, the, any of the, the liquid fabric softeners or harsh chemicals or bleach or things like that. Um, so wash, to me, inside out, cold. That's what you, you do for there. As far as what it can, the uh, product that can be applied to is going to be 100% cotton, 100% polyester, your poly cotton blends, and then your, your elastins, you know. So it's going to be, it's going to work, man. It's going to work on a lot of stuff there. Uh, as far as application times. Um, you're going to want 15 seconds, 310, 311 degrees, medium pressure, right? Then you're going to remove the application tape warm. The other thing is that you can do finishing sheets with it too. So you can have a matte finish, a gloss finish, if I remember right. I think currently it's matte, so it's there, but I think you can use the, like the silicone things to give it that shiny thing. Hopefully, 
we can get a little more information in there and then and then we'll go with that so i'm really excited about it uh, because there's where i feel this fine fills the need at is there's a lot of you that you know or only need a full color image on, on one shirt right and you don't want to layer all the vinyl you don't mind weeding the vinyl on that but the layering and going through that process there this is where it's going to fill in that because it's not like a, a paper this is, this is a vinyl product uh, oh, washes. I heard today washes that they've tested over to 20 washes and it's been fine. So up to 20 is where they're at right now. So far, so good on it. One of the, like I said, this is going to be for like your low run stuff. I want to do a full color image on something and I don't mind weeding it. Instead of ordering one DTF transfer, because, you know, you're going to get one DTF transfer and it's going to be, you know, your, your 450, 550, whatever it is, depending on what you get. No weeding, no nothing, easy press. But then you've got the shipping on it. So it really doesn't make sense when you're just doing one. Something like this does make sense because if you don't have to go full, um, you know, you don't have to go that full run. And it's not, to me, going to be cost effective. I've, I haven't seen the price on it yet. Uh, there's a couple of vendors that I know have it, but I haven't seen it for sure when I checked because I played with the printer for four hours today and then uh, and then it just didn't work. So that's what that's what was my big issue today. Um, so we just got this literally. Uh, Corey got back while I was finishing up stuff at 440. We had the imprinter installed by 445. It ran its test in that. So we're going to do first prints off this, and this is what we're going to do. So um, let's go through. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, get those in here. We'll talk about those. We'll check in with everybody there. Darren, what's going on, my friend? What's up, Chuck? How are you doing? Eric, good to see you. Sunny and 75. 55% humidity. At least it's down from the weekend of around 100 with 50% humidity. So when we hit the hundreds there, Eric, uh, we're like 80%, 90% humidity. It's like breathing through a wet towel. It is 100% garbage. Uh, yeah, evening off from sunny, 88 degree Chicago land. Humidity is a low 58%. Yeah, and it's only going to get better for the next week, right? Yes, we did get the a new inkjet just to try it out and see how it is. Tanya, thanks for stopping in. If you Facebook user, I don't know who you are because Facebook and streaming are done and always play nice together. It is the beginning of a new month and sometimes people get booted out for that. So we have a couple options for you. The easiest thing to do is if you just head over to our YouTube channels at fatdadlive.com or liveosg.com. Head to either one of those, then you'll be able to see us. Uh, otherwise, if you go to our success.group slash Facebook, give streamer permission, then we should be able to see you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's why we always say, just go to the YouTube channels. It looks very nice. It'll work. And Chuck, uh, oh, got everyone beat. 91 here in the great state of Florida. Well, 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 Chuck, I think Curtis begs to differ because in central Kansas, it's 102 and humid. Oh, look at that. Kristen got her winnings yesterday when I got home. That's awesome. If you don't know, Thursdays we do DTF bundle drops and we draw a winner. So Kristen won last one. And last one, what did we do on that one, Kristen? I feel like I, I should know this, but I am completely off my that was that christmas in july no that wasn't back to school back to school it was a back to school bundle the one that we did uh we're gonna have some fall ones in football I, that's what i'm going back and forth between this week marianne hello to you it's 92 and feels like 96 there in charlotte very nice not there it is not their forever paper brand new product just released today i've been sitting on it for a couple weeks and i actually tried to go live with it like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. we're not ready for that yet so I'm able to tonight. So, so this is what we're going to do. Probably one of the first ones to go live with it and see. Uh, so I had South Florida, 92 with 64% humidity. And the mic is good. Awesome. Good to hear everything there. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Inkjet only, no laser. I have not ran it through the laser. They are recommending for inkjet. But I don't know 100% um, mixed results with laser toner from my from what I've heard. Uh, so that, that's where you're kind of kind of on the fence with. It could be, it could not be, but um, right now, inkjet for sure. Now it is going to be, from my understanding, also um, eco-solvent and latex compatible. So you have those two things to, to look forward to as well. So I think laser maybe-ish, maybe, 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 maybe-ish, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I have not, I've not tried. Like I said, I, I haven't done anything with it. I just got it nice. We're going to save that for a Tuesday with Todd because that's how we deal with this now, right? The, one of the other things too that I just thought about um, can be applied with a home iron. So, you know, if, you, if you're looking at this where 
I don't have a cutter and I don't have a heat press, but I want to get in the shirt game and I have a, you know, $40 inkjet printer. You can do that because you can cut with scissors. You can iron with an iron. So you can apply it there. Uh, it goes on, um, what was it, you know, lights and darks. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, like I said, uh, color washing, they've went up to 20. <clears throat> Excuse me, this worked there. It is laser friendly too. So there is that. Um, so the, you know, like I said, the, the hundred percent cotton, hundred percent polyester, poly blends, the lycra blends, we're good on that. Uh, I'm going to drop the comment or drop the link to the Caesar and a site where you can actually get all of the information on it inside of there. You're going to have your settings for your, um, for your crickets, for your, you know, your Explorer air, your maker, your brother, scan and cut your cameo, your roll in your graph tech. It's going to have everything in there. So I'm going to drop that link here in the comments now. So you can, you can go check that at your leisure. You don't have to leave me right now to go do that. Uh, but you know, Hey, it's there. It also had the application instructions because it has it for the home iron and for the heat press. Um, so, Hey, I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's a good filler where you're not having to, to go to something like, um, a white toner or a DTF. Uh, you are still going to have to weed in that, but it is going to allow a, a lot better feel on it there. Ruben, how's it going, my man? How are you doing? Uh, Alan, good question. How does DTF differ from the roller and first cam? Technically not because uh, it is, it can be ran through that. So same thing with it. Only with this, you have uh, traditionally with the papers, you get a lot of that cracking, you know, you get a wash out of it. Those are disposable thing for a day. This is not like that. You know, like the Caesar Hi-Fi mat is what I, is my go-to for my printable vinyl. I love it. It works amazing. Um, this feels thinner than it. But when it comes in a roll, you'd be able to do the same thing, run it through there. Where this really works for it is something that does not have access to a wide format printer. Yeah, the, ink, the inkjet printer, uh, you know, you're able to, the sheets are eight and a half by 11, so you're able to run it through right that. Yeah, we're going to find out because I got the cheapest printer, right? So, so let's go through this. I got the cheapest printer that Walmart had the first time. It didn't work. It, it literally four hours I spent multiple tech calls going back and forth. We tried different cords, different drivers, different everything. It would not work. Uh, and I, it got to a point and hung up and said, okay, it's connected. Things didn't hear. And then it would just stop. So did not work. And so after spending four plus hours on that, I said, this is not going to work. It's, you know, then they said, okay, yeah, we'll just go ahead and return and get another one. Yeah. Yeah. Buddies. Uh, I'm going to return your piece of crap. Canon stick to making cameras, boys. Don't be making printers because that really upset me. So, Got that back, got an HP up and running within five minutes. So we're going to see how it is. Uh, Jenny's sitting in 102 and feels like 108. Fires all over us. Oh, little country in Texas. That does not sound fun. Uh, when you jump on the weather bandwagon, 100 and so smoky from fires, 19% humidity. Oof. Yeah, the fires are, are no joke right now. George, my man, what's going on? Uh, so Ruben says, uh, so this is just like e Caesar Easy Subly, but except that it's for an inkjet printer. Absolutely. If there's something to compare it to, it, that would be it. So just like the Easy Subly. The other difference, too, uh, so when you had the Easy Subly, um, you know, you had the long press times. You had everything with that. So you had to have the sublimation printer. But you still had to wait for it to dry. Then you cut it. Then you went through it from here. Uh, with this, you don't have to have that long press time because like I said 310 for... Was it 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 11 seconds? What was, let me double check on that. Uh, let's see, cover with the heat transfer cover sheet, rumple purpose paper, preheat garment for three seconds, apply at 310, use medium pressure for 15 seconds. So a big difference in time there. So, and the other thing too is how cheap, you know, you can get ink. It's probably considerably cheaper to go this route with it too than on the sublimation side of things. So that's something else to think about. All right, uh, no sublimation. They have tried it. it, was my understanding, they tried it with sublimation, and it didn't work the greatest for it. Uh, let's see if we have any other. Mo, hello to you. Uh, you haven't missed anything yet. You haven't missed anything yet. We were just talking about the new Easy Color DTV that Caesar dropped today. And then we're going to we're gonna do our logo. We're going to show people how to set up artwork in Corel to use the print cut feature in that. Uh, and then, basically, um, we'll run it through that. Uh, so I just jumped on. Uh, it's basically heat transfer paper, but for both darks. So yes and no. Uh, it is a vinyl. 
it was definitely that's why it's DTV direct to vinyl. They're trademarking that direct to vinyl. So that's what it is. It's not a paper. So you're going to have the better washability. So it's not going to crack or fade as quickly as what uh, the um, the papers do. Uh, and like I said, they they've tested up to twenty with minimal with minimal degradation. Uh, so that's that's the other part of it too. Interesting long term durability difference on a printed design comparing to pigment ink and eco solvent. And I believe it's not going to last nearly as long as an eco solvent. Eco solvent we know is going to last for it. ink jet. I think you're going to probably cut that washes in half, uh, you know, but a good solution for somebody who doesn't have that option. So that's where I'm going with. Yes. Lights are darks, Trudy. Lights are darks. Um, so almost like eco solvent because the eco solvent, like the people that are selling the desktops with eco solvent printing ink in it is not, Eco solvent ink. They are they're selling you a lie because that is not if that is not true. That is not happening. They're calling it their eco ink. It is not eco solvent ink. That stuff will not work for decals. It will not work for signs. It will not work for banners. It will not work for any of that. It works on paper for garments, and that's it. So the people that have been putting stuff out there saying, "Oh, it, this you can convert a printer to it," you don't have to. You know, you can get an inkjet. You can use this. Do the exact same thing. And not have to have some weird ink for something there. Um, did you say it didn't work with white toner printer? Laser printing in general, the results have been mixed on it. So, you know, white toner, you wouldn't do it on a white toner because this paper comes white, you know, so you, there's no need to print on it. You'd still have to cut and weed it. So you'd miss out on, you know, you're missing the benefit of a white toner. This fills in for somebody who does not have a white toner is where I believe it fits in best at for it. All right. I'm going to set some stuff up here and see if I can make this work. Nope, that did not work, did it? That did not work as it should. So if I move that there, uh, let me, I just got to change a color or something real quick so I can, so I can see it. Okay, there's that. Um, and I got it. I thought I was doing more in here, but apparently I did not. I did. I did not have this set. I wanted to, and that's because I spent four hours, you know, on a on a stupid, stupid thing. Whatever is that called? A uh, printer. Printer. So now I got to set this up here. Okay. Because we're going to set up the workspace. So I'm going to do control. I'm going to copy this. And then we'll be able to go. Okay. So first up, we're going to share a screen. I'm going to bring in my Corel. Uh, let's see. Screen Uno. We'll bring that in here. So share that. Patrick is in the house. So Patrick's in the house from Caesar. Ask your questions away for what you're wanting to know on the easy color DTV because Patrick's here, so he will answer your questions. And I say, without further ado, we should be able to add this to the stream. And okay, so here, oh, I'm gonna do a new, I'm gonna do a new one because I already set this one up. So that way we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to show how to put the registration marks on there for it. So here's the thing: when you are doing, I, I just brought in my artwork. That's all I did, and you can see that from my regular um when i use the eco solvent printer that i have a cut line i have a bleed on it when you are doing things for print cut you're going to want to have a cut file and a print file because you can't send everything to the cutter you can send stuff to the printer you can send stuff to the cutter but you can't send them both this way so this is how we're going to do it so first off i am going to i think that's my line there all right control z back uh, i am going to copy that and then, which is control C, just in case you didn't know, some people don't. And I, you know, I just got to remember that. Uh, so we're going to bring that on here and then we're going to delete it off. Now, if you want to go ahead and add registration marks to this and you're going to do a print cut, you have a graph tag. What you're going to do is you're going to come right up here to the end to the launch tab, right? So you're going to go application launcher and then you're going to do registration marks, right? Now, what it's going to do is it is going to bring up the uh, registration mark uh, box here. I've already had mine set up in it. There's different types of registration marks that you can use, things like that. But for the most part, uh, if your things are set fine, you're set fine for it. And then you're going to hit OK. And then magically, look what it does. It populates that. 
Super simple, super easy. That's how easy it is to add registration marks to your paper, to your sheet size, whatever it is. Now, this sheet, eight and a half by 11 is what I have it set as. So that way we're able to, to go from there. And then, um, yeah, right here. What size? Is that what I have on here? What size will it come in? Eight and a half by 11, right? So there you go. Not only like Eagle Solvent, it is usable with inkjet, Eagle Solvent, solvent, latex, and UV. So any ink set you have for it works. Now, Patrick, one of the questions that people asked about was laser and then sublimation. And I know we had talked about it, and this was a couple weeks ago. So you can give us more information on how it is with laser and how it is with, um, well, white toners, the same thing. No, sublimation. Yeah, laser and sublimation. Okay. So once we have uh, our registration marks on here, we're going to send this to print because I did remove my cut line. Uh, and for that, I'm just going to control P. And that is going to bring up my print manager that I don't think you'll see. But what I can do is I think I can send that screen. Uh, no, we'll see. We'll see real quick because I should be able to switch this over there and then be able to see it print. And then we should be good to go. So oh, I think that that's how it'll work because this one is, um, yeah, it's that one. So we should be good on that because I don't think I can move it to that screen. But I should be able to move over here. We'll see. We'll see real quick because right now resources are stretched. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> resources are being stretched thin. What is going on here? Because that is, that's not what was there. That is not what was there. I need to select this and do that because... That tried printing everything that was on this screen. So that makes, there it goes. This way makes more, way more sense of how it's going to work. Um, I'm going to we're going to switch this to our HP 2, whatever the hell it is. And we're going to hit OK. And then now it's going to start printing. So now it should be able to add this one to the screen, remove this guy. And then it should start printing. We'll see, right? Because the way that everything goes for us, uh, did I put paper in there? Yes, I did put it in there. I had to make sure. I had to make sure that I put paper in there because that would have really sucked. It wasn't there because there is, uh, when you get it, one of the things that, it, that you won't worry about, is mine came with the, the great roll of, of transfer tape that still does not want to come undone. Uh, but the product itself, you see, there's two sides. You're going to have to figure out which side is which. Which, Patrick, is it any easier to know one side from the other? It looks like there's a matte side and a little glossier side. All I did was I stuck it with a, a pick. I stuck it with my handy-dandy Caesar weeder. And this is this I've used this one forever. Look, I've used it long enough it's pulled that off. So as you see, that's what it did. Was it printed off? And we'll remove that from the screen now because i got to move the camera over there. But it printed off with the registration marks. Super simple, super easy, right? No big, scary thing there. Uh, we're going to move. Let's see. Add this to the stream. I'm going
I think it's because I'm not part of it. All right. Sound out when I switch cameras. Yeah. Good. See, so all I was saying was I didn't want you guys to have to bounce around and see all that craziness. <clears throat> so that's what we did. That's all we did. And I was around the corner. So it was perfect. You just got to see from that. You didn't miss anything at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> no, I promise. I promise you didn't do anything. Nope, 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 nope. That's what it was. We were just on that one because I'm trying to do it. So here's what we got. Um, we're gonna, we're still in our main. We're in Corel. You've seen that we took the and added it to our cutting mat, right? So we got added on our cutting mat. Next up, we got to set it all up to load and head over to our to our handy dandy graph tag. So this is where it was super important that you have to have your cut lines and your art separate because the only thing you're sending to Corel is the cut lines. So that's the big thing is you've got to send, um, you got to send everything over to, you got, if you send everything over, it's going to be wonky as hell. What you're going to do is you're just going to send over the cut line. So this is where I bring back my cut line for it. Uh, so we'll copy that back in here. But actually, before I do that, I'm just going to delete this out delete my art layer out. So if you're using one of the something more, you can get rid of the layers and turn them off and on. That's perfectly fine there because we just need to send our cut layer. That's all we got to do. So we'll select that. We can go up to launch. We can set to cut plot. And this is going to take us over to our um, CM4 cut screen, whatever that stuff, Corel. And you can see that it brings it right into your screen. So you can see where everything is. Now from here, uh, I guess I'm trying to, I'm looking at the wrong screen with the wrong mouse. Man, I'm like, why is it not letting me move it over here? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So here's what we're going to do is you go and put this one in, the, in that small right-hand corner, right? So in this right-hand corner, we're trying to line this up with our press. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one bigger for now. Is that right? Is that one? Uh, I want to I'm gonna take this one off just for a second. And that way you can you can see where I'm setting this up and where I'm doing this one at. So we've got it right here. We're opening up our press. We know that that's where it needs to be, but here's what it's gonna want you to do. And I'll show you, and then we'll come back here and do it. And we're just gonna put it here. And we're just gonna go current position on it. So we're just doing that. Now, over here, when we are in, add this back to the stream, we're in here and we send it, this is what it's going to tell us. It's going to say, load media into the cutter, then position the head over the first mark located at the bottom right corner when facing the cutter. Press OK to start mark detection process. Cancel to abort the job. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to see how I can make this screen the big screen. So that way you can see that um, you can see that a little better. Uh, let's see, because I want this one over here. So I want this one. Let's see. There's that. There's that. I want, I want, what do I want? What do I, how do I want to do this? Yeah. Yeah. That'll work better. That'll work better because you don't need to see me, but I should still be here. And you can still hear me, right? You can still hear me. So as long as you can still hear me. So we're going to load it up. It's, I mean, it's right underneath there. You can see that we flip this up because I, there, it's right underneath there. So you're going to line it up just, yeah, right about there, you know? And then we're going to put that guy back and then we're going to lock that current position. So it's going to find the stuff where it needs to right there. And then from here, what we're going to do is just hit that OK. That's all you got to do is you just got to hit that OK. You hit OK, and now watch what it does. So we move. Oh, no. Oh, no. We did not do that. See? So it marks scan error because it was not in the rollers. So we're going to open that back up and we're going to line it back up again. See, everybody screws up, man. Like, and if I'm going to screw up, this is what I'm going to screw up at is this part. Current position. We're going to try it again. We should be good this time because I just wasn't paying attention. I just wasn't paying attention. So now if we send again, 
it's going to say that same thing. It's going to give us that same message. You guys won't see that message because you've already seen that message. Uh, load there. Okay, so now what it's going to do is it's trying to find those marks. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, I got to move it over for it. Yep. Oh, it's looking. Come on, baby. There. Oop. This is where it's fun at. It's trying to line this up. Because um, mark error. Okay. Okay, friend. I'll tell you what I did wrong. I'll show you what I did wrong, guys. So bring me back up here. Bring me back up here. So when I put this on the mat, I want it down in that far right-hand corner or left-hand corner or whatever way that you want because that's where it's reading from. And so you want it as close to that as possible because otherwise, if not, you're going to run into issues like I just did. And I noticed that after I saw it. So same thing. We're just going to reply it back to our mat. No big deal. And I'm going to move some stuff here just so I have a little better view of it. Cool. So now we'll be able to go put it over. We'll be able to put it over there. Put it over there and move that whole part on it. And then we're good. Now we'll be cooking with gasoline. Gasoline today, folks. That's what we'll be cooking with is gasoline. So we got that somewhat lined up. Now, now, when I send it, I should be able to. Remember, I don't use this feature a whole lot because I have the Versicam and I do everything on that. Um, and then let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go and resend. Yes, Marvin, you are correct. I completely, I forgot about that. I'm going to use the arrow on the front to move the panel because I don't do it. I do everything over on the graph tech or over on the Versicam. Then I go from there and then I'm just good to go with it. <laughs> All right. So now, now we should be good. We'll see. We'll see. And it should be super simple. No, man. What are you telling me no for? What are you telling me to know for? Scanning or moving destination out of area. What are you doing, homie? There. There. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Because it's not this difficult. I promise you it's not this difficult. But it, it is. Oh, browser lost connection to the extra camera. We didn't even do anything. We didn't even do anything. So that means I need to swap cameras. And then we should still be good to go. That's what we got to do. I got to swap the cameras because I'm not sure just what happened there. So we got to we got to figure that out. Awesome. Let's see. We'll switch cameras, and you guys will be fine. You'll be fine. There, there. Now we'll be good. Now we'll be good. We should be fine. Everything's fine, folks. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I promise. <laughs> we'll see how it works this time. Read, homie. Read, my friend. There you go. Yeah, now you're getting somewhere. Now you're getting somewhere. Now you're getting somewhere. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Mark Skinner, retry, buddy. Retry, homie. Uh, let's see. Let's go round and round and round and round. I have the CE6000 is what I have. We're going to drop that bad boy right there. And then we should be... And then enter. Oh, snap a dat. There. There. Ha-ha, that's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, tell me again how much I love my job. Tell me again. Oh, look, see, now I'm now I'm messing up all kinds of stuff because the stickiness. I didn't get it down far enough on that one. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna put it down again. And like I said, this is the joys of live, folks. The joys of live. So this is when somebody says, "I, hey, you know, I can't do, I can't do a live." Why? Like, do you not see how often things don't work out for me? Like, that's just part of the show, man. That's just part of it. 
You'll do fine. Go live. Go live every day. We go live every day. And uh, and that's what we go. So now let's make it work again. Let's make it right again. Let's make it right again. And what's funny, uh, let's see. Let's see what goes. Let's see what, let's do it, homie. Let's make magic. Let's make magic, baby. Let's make magic, baby. You were right there, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why are you? Why you am you? You not nice person. You not nice person, baby. Baby, you not nice to me. Come on. I give you love. I give you power. I feed you vinyl. I mean, I don't use you as much as I used to, but I still love you. I still love you long time. Very, very long. You're you're my best, best friend. Let's see. This is going to really, really irritate me. Because it shouldn't be this difficult right now. I, uh, I don't know, but I don't know, folks. I don't know. Like, I promise you, I did a laser printed one and I put it on this and it cut the first time. No issues, no nothing at all. It was, it was magnificent. So I'm like, yeah, what's, what's there to, what's there to, to worry about and know. And so this is what we're going to do. This folks is what we're going to do. We're just going to, it's going to find it. It's going to find it. Why did it just skip all the way over there? No, homie. Retry. I'm not cutting you by hand. I refuse. I refuse to cut you by hand. I mean, we can. We can totally cut it by hand. And that's the great thing. You can cut it by hand if you want. But I have this great plotter here that is supposed to scan and read and do everything magnificent. And it did it great off camera. It's kind of like the, my show kind of reminds me of like pets on live TV. You know, when they took the animals on TV and they showed them off to you. And everything was great. You know, they, they had great time off screen, but then on screen is when they decided that that's when they're going to take a crap or attack somebody. Yeah, that's uh, that's my day right now, folks. They hope it's going to do it again. 100% it's going to do it again because I know it. I know, homie. Mark Scan Error. That's, that's what this show is going to be called. Mark Scan Error. We will get this figured out because it is going to be... That's what we're going to do. There, there's no give up today, folks. There is none. This is going to be magic. And this is nothing with the product. This is with this deciding it doesn't want to read. That's that's what this is all about. Not wanting to read today. Let's try it again. Uh, move, moving destination is out of area. Um, no, it should be fine. It should be fine. Why? Why, homie? Why? Why, 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 why? Oh, it's going to work. It's going to work. I promise you it's going to work. I promise. I promise. Uh, and here's the thing. Let's just take this. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Ha ha. There we go. We got it. All right. <laughs> There it goes. Look at it go. Way to go, buddy. You just needed to cut a circle. That's all you had to do. Ta-da. That's all you had to do, buddy. Man, you're the awesomest. You're the awesomest ever. I'm telling you. Now, we'll open this back up. And then we'll come back over here. All right. Hey, guys. Let's see. Um... I need to switch cameras again, right? That's what we got to do because that other camera decided to conk out on us. So we're just going to switch cameras here real quick. And there we go. Yay, it's going to work. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the thing, Mandy. Like DTF, no joke. Perfect, you know, because it's going to come to you ready to go. But if you're looking for the solution, I have it. Like this, once you get it down, you like I bet. So I've had that now five or six years. 
And I bet I've used the registration marks on it less than 50 times. You know, I, you know, in the beginning, I, I did a lot, but I'll, you know, I do everything on the Versacam. And there's little stuff that I'll need to do when I do it on this. And I believe me, I don't really have many issues with it. Now, when I had the cameo and I used that, that one too, depending on where it was setting in the reflection, you know, if it could read or not. So sometimes I'd make them darker, whatever. But uh, once I figured out how that read perfectly, it was great. Same thing with the solo. So it's just a learning curve once you get there. I can call it baby. Call everything baby. And that is true, right, Alan? The simplest jobs take the most effort. That's just in there. Hey, man, that's what we do. All right, what did I, uh, let's see, did I miss anything? Yeah, Sharon, 100%. Registration marks are my enemy. He's came to a silhouette and acts similar. I have to shine a light for it to read correctly. That's what I had. Uh, that's what I had, and it was, uh, it made me lots. Um, uh, I started die cutting a lot of this way with my graft or my rolling. On smaller stuff, absolutely. And that's why uh, I'm actually looking at the 70, 7,000, the next one up. So the 50, 54, so it'll match with that. I'm looking at there. There's two different ones that I'm looking at, but then I can just match up to that because right now I have to cut everything down or I have to print in sheets on the Roland and then take it over here to this. I'm not down with that. Let's just run it through and get there. So I need to get the cutter to match the size of that to really cut down on that to make it stop from happening. Uh, let's see. Could the lighting be pregnant? Nope. Everything was fine there. It just was being a pain. I don't know. Right there, right? Right there, the message is your personality. Like, I mean, this there is no give up on this. You just go through it. Uh, yep, it was the glare, and that was on the cameo because we had to sit on the table underneath the light, and that was the thing, <laughs> right? Why? That's what we go. That's all I had to do was cut a circle. All I had to do was cut a circle. Uh, what did James actually make it cut? Nothing. All I did was I keep moving until I found that registration mark underneath the eye. That's all I did. That's all I did. And all I had to do was cut. That's all I had to do was cut the circle. Cut the damn circle. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. All right. So now we have it on here. Um, I'm going to pull off a little piece. So I got the corner. Now, here's the big thing. I didn't check my cut settings. <laughs> I'm assuming it cut it, but we are about to find out together if it did. Yeah, it did. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Perfect circle. Woo. Perfect circle. Now, thin wise, I mean, this is some thin, thin stuff, folks. Uh, so it's definitely not going to be that hot, that heaviness of the paper. But remember, it is vinyl. So anytime you do a, a big design, it will still have a hand to it. It does have a nice soft hand to it, matte finish on it. Stretchability. I'd like to see you do that with your paper, folks. So. There is a good stretchability to it. Good rebound to it when it comes back. Here, look. So, you know, like HTV, you pull that and it just pulls. There we go. So good on that. Now, when you come to this stage, there's two things you can do. You can peel this as is because it's just a, uh, a single piece. There's not a bunch of weed. You know, there's not a bunch of negative space that you would need the mask to. So you don't need the mask to apply it. Uh, or... You can apply a mask to it and then from there peel it off and use it like traditional transfer paper. Uh, let's see. Uh, right? That's what I'm saying. Cut the day circle. Let's go. Yes. And it is when you peel it off. So it is there. So ta da, ta da. So it is but white, is what you're putting on. So it's from there. Pretty good on that. Lowest temperature, 310, I believe, is the lowest temperature that it's going to be able to be pressed off. If, uh, if, 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 where's Patrick at? Patrick, if Patrick's still here, hopefully Patrick can give us, you know, but 310. 15 seconds is what I saw. So we don't need to use the mask for this, but should we use the mask for this? You guys tell me, mask or no mask? Mask or no mask? Because we can apply the mask to it. I show you how to do that. Uh, and then from there, we can press it. So you tell me. I am, I am in a happy place. When this stuff works, right? Man, but that's the great thing that I feel about my show is this is like the real world stuff now. No offense to the amazing people over at Caesar or any company for that matter, but you ever notice that their videos are perfect every single time? Well, that's because, you know, if I did a produced video, you think that you would have saw that? No, 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 no. We would cut that out until we got it right, and then it just looks seamlessly all the way through. That's how you do it, folks. That's the magic of video editing, which I am no magician at. Uh, I, I, no, I need to get better at it, but everything works there. I love what we do because we show that real world thing of what happens with it. 
how does it, you know, how do things work? What kind of issues do you run into? How do you, you know, work through those? That's what we do here for it. Uh, use mass, mass to see how it's done. Nope. <laughs> no mask because I don't have one. Here's the thing. So um, mask, I don't reuse mask because mask will pull off part of the ink too. Even when we use our printed HTV, sometimes it'll pull off the ink on it. Now we've got plenty of mask here. Um, I've got rolls upon rolls of it that we use for our printed HTV. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so we can, we can go ahead and do some mask for it. Uh, let's see, found out it's much better to use a mask on it. And for that reason, because if you have a clam press, by the time you center it, it might crawl up on you, but with mask, it won't. So here's the thing, uh, that, um, we actually saw in one of the videos too, is that when we peel off from this, it will, it will start to curl up, but once it's underneath the heat, it goes back flat. And then you're using a cover sheet on it too. So maybe, oh, am I going to say this? Maybe I'll do one with mask and one without mask. Because uh, <laughs> I can start setting that up and we can start seeing how that works. Because you won't see that behind the scenes settings. So maybe that's what we'll do. We're going to, I'm going to add another one over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another piece of paper over on that side. And then we're going to go from there and do it. So that way we can see the difference between both of them. Like I said, when it comes, I got one right here. We need to see what side is our print side. So that's going to be our print side. So I'll add another. I'll add that to here. We will oof, print that off, maybe. Can't do it right-handed. Man, why can't I load? I can't even load paper right-handed. I got some issues. I got some issues, folks. I couldn't even load. I couldn't even load paper couldn't even load paper right-handed. So I'm going to send another one to print because I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm a glutton for punishment. So we're going to go ahead and try it again. Why not? Why not try and set this all up to print again? So we'll do one with mask, one without mask. So that way you'll be able to see which way you think is the better way to go with it. Because everybody says mask. So why not? Right? Why edit? Show reality. Because sometimes reality isn't going to be isn't going to be fun or exciting. Sometimes reality is painful and frustrating. And that's what I've ran into. It's painful and frustrating, right? It's painful and frustrating. Uh, let me see. I got to move that over there. That did not take. So I got to actually got to move the, the camera. Maybe I got to move the camera back. We'll see. Oh, we'll see what we got here. We'll see what we got here. Uh, because that did not take. Because I did not have it in there far enough to feed. So... Let's try this again. Now it's getting stressed and nervous, and I should probably eat something. What did I do wrong here? What did I do wrong, folks? You can't see this. That makes me happy. That makes me happy because you can't see my mess up. Ha -ha. All right. All right. Cool. We got that. I move this camera back over here so we'll be able to set up the press because that's what we're going to do. So that's what I'm doing is I'm setting up a camera. To, I'm moving cameras around so I can still, I can't even see. I'm not going to lie. I'm just moving stuff because since we have that camera decided to take a dump, now we're improvising with some other stuff. And we should be, we should be good to go. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be good to go when this gets back over here. Cool. Okay. So that's printing. So we are there for it. Um, awesome. Thanks, Sean. I love you. Hey, well, if you're here, make sure you like, subscribe, have all that fun stuff, because this is what we do. We figure this out. I uh, just totally jammed. Totally jammed, didn't it? Or no. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I think so. I think it totally jammed on me. But that was my own fault. That was my own fault, Todd. You know why it was my own fault? Because I didn't put it in there right. So, yeah, let's put it in there right, and then we won't have that problem, because we won't have that problem. But we're going to try not for that problem. We're going to try not for that problem. But you never know. Yeah, I, I, not saying I, I give up, but I'm saying that this is trying to do some weird stuff over here. <laughs> and having the multiple screens, the cameras go out, the mic not working, the printer deciding to not want to print, the registration marks not reading. 
The cut was amazing. We didn't test it, and the cut was amazing. So I'm super excited about that, right? I can be excited about that part. It's trying to. 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 There it goes. All right. So now I got to get the mat. We get to do all this. We get to do this over again, and then we get to figure it out because that's what we do. Uh, right there. Um, I don't use mask unless letters need to stay together. Totally understand that, Stephanie, because one, mask is an added cost, right? An added cost. So that means it's cost you more to it. It's added labor because now you're applying it. So there's there. So now you have two factors into that. You have the added cost of the mask and the added labor of applying the mask. So think about that. If you don't necessarily need it, you don't necessarily need it. Uh, for those that does HTV, uh, I usually save the curious sheets from the ATZ and use them as mask. And it would cheat, but if it works, it works. Hey, I don't see a problem with that. If it works, let's try it, right? All right. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to send this to the cutter again. You're going to hear me fight and scream. I'm not because the, the other thing, um, I moved the camera so we don't even, can't even see that part of it. So we're going to see how we can do this time. See if it'll be fine. See if it'll read. See if my little guy, see if, see if my, you know, come on, little rock star. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Uh, let's see. Yes, clear. Clearing that. We got that. We got that. Uh, current position. And now I should be able to send that one. I'm going to see if I can fight and argue with it. I'm not really. I'm not really. I'm, I'm really not in, in the mood to fight and argue with it. I just want it to work. That's all. That's all. I'm not asking for miracles, right? I don't even know what it's doing now. What are you doing, homie? There you go. All right. Now I can launch it. <laughs> and we're going to see if it'll. It should launch. It's going to work fine this time, right? It's totally going to work fine this time. I know. I feel it in my gut. And you know why it's going to work fine this time? Because there's not a camera on it. So it's going to read it just fine. Oh, look. It's trying to find it. Oh, it's trying to find it. Nope. Oh, nope. Yep. Nope. Oh. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha, you dirty. You dirty, dirty girl. Dirty girl. Dirty, dirty. Why are you going to do me dirty like that, homie? Why? Why? Or something like that. And then hit enter. And is it going to do it this time? It might do it this time all the way through. Oh, why? It's out of area. It's not out of the area. I promise you, man. I promise you. It's not out of the area. I promise you, baby. It's not out of the area. I just need you to move over, buddy. There you go. I mean, this is getting painful to watch, but we're going to keep doing it. We're going to go over to that other one, and we're just going to – that's what we're going to do because why not? <laughs> what have I missed here? What have I missed here? Makes sense, right? Totally. Yeah, reality is good for all of us, 100%. Uh, do you have this on the site? Yeah, I do not uh, because we are not um, – we're not carrying it yet. We're still in the midst of getting everything together for the craft store. And then from there, then we'll bring it in. Uh, that should be happening um, soon. Oh, look, now it read. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, so we should be, we're working on that hopefully here in the next week or so to be able to finalize everything on that. Uh, we do have some partners that you're able to purchase from. I believe Kyle from over at Annie Up. Well, it didn't print. It went all the way around and it missed the last one. It does. It does weed like butter. It does weed like butter. Why did you? Did you? Oh, no, it cut. It cut. It cut. It cut. It cut. Let's watch it weed again, shall we? Let's watch it weed again. What do I do with my weeder? All right. Weeder time. You want to see how easy it weeds? We grab it in the corner, right? Grab it in the corner. There it is. And hold that down. Ooh. Like butter. Man, that is so nice. That is so nice. So, so nice. So, so nice. Okay, so we'll mask one, and then we'll, we'll press one without it. All right, 
reality shows do have a better ratings. I love it. Like I said, we do this every Tuesday night, folks. Every Tuesday night we do this and have a great time with it. <laughs> you earn price admission for this one. I know. Thanks. I do that too. We use transfer from HTV. But if a hair link gets on the sheet first, it can be a mess mess up the whole image. Good thinking. That is that is 100%. Dirty Diana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you post the link to Little Monkey Craft Company? Yeah, Little Monkey Craft Co. That'll get you right over there. It is not on the site yet, but it will be eventually, I promise you. Uh, I always want to know what can go right or wrong. You got this. And this is what happened. Uh, what makes this stuff magic? Caesar. Caesar makes it magic. They sprinkled a little, a little magic on it. It's been in development for quite some time with it. Uh, and, they, you know, they've always had great printable products. I've loved their mat since we first started printing uh, because of the low uh, application temperature. You know, you can press the mat at like 250 for five seconds. So that's always been our go-to when we've done printed HTV transfers from it. Uh, I love their poly blocker. Uh, they, that is the, the subly, subly thin. I think that's what it is, subly thin. So we use a ton of that throughout the sports seasons because a lot of them will get the... Um, like a digi camo and the digi hex stuff. When you use the regular vinyl or things like that on it, you'll get that you'll get that right through. Using the poly block will not let that happen. And it is an amazing product. So we do a ton of stuff with that. They're not, uh, you know, they sent me stuff. They sent me stuff to use, and that's what I love. You know, if you're gonna send me stuff, anybody can send me stuff and I'll review it and go through it. So far, this seems, you know, the promises are working, everything's here with it. Uh, but no, uh, they haven't paid me a dime, and that's cool with me. Send me stuff. I get to use it, show it off, get other people for it. Uh, I want to, uh, there's a couple of affiliates that we're trying to work with to be able to funnel through that way. We'll get there eventually. Um, but we are opening up our own um, craft store-esque thing with another partner that has a current space. And it's basically, they're going to take care of it for us so we don't have to be hands-on for it. Really nice because then there's a bunch of local people that wants things as well. Our, our glitter, our tumblers, um, our epoxy. Printed HTV, our DTF transfers, things like that. So we're able to add that and have the in-store for it. I do love Caesar Glitter. Caesar Glitter, it does rock. This is Caesar Glitter. Caesar Glitter and some rhinestones. Look at that. So that's Caesar Glitter right there. Ooh, how, how spankly is that? And then stones on top of it. So, yes, that right there. Okay, now we should be able to get over to the other one and spent some, and we should be able to move this camera and get over to this other one so that way we can go ahead and show what this is like uh, pressing, masking, doing all that fun stuff on it. All right. So pay no attention to the stuff below there. Those are just cords. They never hurt anybody. I mean, they'll trip on them eventually. I won't. I promise I won't. I, I really, I really hope I don't. But here we go. All right. So I can move the camera up a little right there. You're able to see it. So here's our image. Ta da. Um, here's our mask. Yeah, it was rolled up. It was amazing. I was on big rolls, so I don't have to use a whole... <laughs> I don't usually have to mess with the little stuff. So I'm going to peel off the mask. Super, I was going to say super simple to do. Um, as long as you've got um, some nails. Because you're just going to want to find... Whoop, you're going to want to find a corner. You know, you just peel it. That's all. I'm just going to peel off. Peel off. Aha, uh -huh. see? Peel off. Now it's flat. Now, you don't want air bubbles. So, you know, best way to do that is center, drop, go. Center, drop, go. Center, drop, go. And then out. We're going to push out. Push the air out. And magically, ta da, we created our own transfer. So, best way to do these, as I'm assuming, just like everything else, is you're going to peel the um, carrier sheet away from the mask. So, we'll peel. Look at that. Stage is fine. And ta-da, there we go. Okay, so that one's done. Now we have a transfer ready to press. Next up, we're going to see what happens if we just peel this off by itself. Okay, peel this off just by itself. So there it is. We're going to peel, 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 peel. And you see how it's wanting to curl up, right? You can see how it's wanting to curl up and stuff. So there, that peels off just fine. Now, we lay it here. We'll be able to put a cover sheet on it, and we'll go back now. Okay, so 3, 10, 15 seconds. Let's start with the mask one first. Mask one first. Mask one first. I had a shirt. I don't know what the hell I did with the shirt. 
there's another shirt. There's another shirt. This is a tester on something else. I mean, I'm not the only one that has a bunch of test shirts laying around, right? You know, I'm not. I know I'm not because I tell you guys, test, test, test to make sure your stuff works on things. So let's see how this one works. We're going to go mask one first. Mask one first. Slide this over here so I can get two on when this goes. Mask one first. Preheat garment. Two, three seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi trucks. There we go. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to put this on here. And doing for the whole 15 or 15 seconds. Now, press that we use. Stalls hot condoms press. Now, you can use any press. You can use an iron, folks. You do not need a press for this. You do not need a cutter for this. You can use scissors. You can use an iron. Make sure it's at home for yourself. It just cost an inkjet printer. Here we go. Hop up here. Boom. Up to Daisy we go. And we're going to peel, peel, peel. Look at that, skis. Look at that, skis. There it is. Not, ooh, I almost burnt myself up there. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna press the other one, and then we'll do all the fun push-pull tests and see how it all plays out. All right, I'll get this one over here. We'll get that guy off, and we'll bring this guy on. And we'll see how it we'll see how it all plays out, right? Okay? That's what we do. What project do you want us to see what we do next week? What do you guys have issues, trouble with, things like that? that uh, could be causing you more pain than could be. I don't know where my scissors are. Let's see. Oh, look. See? Starting to uncurl. Uncurl, baby. There it is. So uncurl. Oh, I guess I could use... That would be nice to use, we'll use Teflon sheet. All right? Teflon sheet. Everything is flat. We can see through that. Let's get to go there. Do that same thing. 310 for 15 seconds. I think sounds a little bit better. I guess I forgot about the mic. Hello, microphone. I forgot about you. 310, 15 seconds. And here we go on this one. And away. Boom. We go. Pull that off. There we go. Now, I will bring over back to our regular scheduled location. And we'll be able to see. So I'm going to switch this camera back. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And here we go. Okay. So one on the left was without mask. One on the right was with mask. Let's see what we got for stretchability, folks. Uh, looking at these, okay, I wonder if you can see it. So we use the Teflon sheet on this one. See how it's got more of a gloss to it? This one did not. So we can change that too, you know. If you want a glossy, you're going to use that Teflon sheet. You want it more matte finish, you're going to use the mask, or you're going to use the, the blowout paper like you use for sublimation, that, like the, the craft paper. All right. So let's see what happens when we try and pull this bad boy. Ready? Ready? What's going to happen? Let me know. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to, is it going to crack? Is it going to stretch? Stretch or crack? You tell me. What is it going to do? What is it going to do? And there you go. See? Stephanie's right. Let the heat, let the heat hover and uncurl all by itself. Hot peel. Yes. As you saw, hot peel. Uh, no disrespect, but Caesar HTV is expensive. I use HTV Ron brand and have had no complaints yet. Here's the thing. There's a lot of stuff that's expensive. I'm expensive. When I tell people we're 125 bucks an hour, they're like, you're expensive. I'm like, yeah, you pay for what you get though, man. Like, I've never had an issue with Caesar products. The other thing too um, is that if you're pricing your, if you know your numbers and you're pricing all of your items based on what it actually costs you to do business. So I, I know that 125, that's what it costs us to do business. I know where I need to be with our margins to be able to do things at. So it doesn't matter what my product costs, my end client pays for it. And when you do the factor of what it comes out to per square inch or things like that, it's really, really minuscule. The other thing is the more you buy, it's always cheaper too. bigger quantity, these things like that. So uh, the mask one looks better. So the one, yeah, the, the, um, the non-glossy one, the matte one. So we're going to hit this one again, too, after we do this to see how it is, if we're able to take that away from it and go from there. Kyle. All right, Kyle, are you guys carrying this in the store right now? Are you, do you guys have the color, uh, the easy color DTV? Because if you have it in stock, that's who you need to go to. Kyle over at Antioch Graphics, he's going to be your source for stuff like this. Okay. So let's see. Stretch. So stretch, stretch, stretch. Uh, I love it. The mask, uh, the mask will hold heat in. Uh, <laughs> I'm expensive. Hell yeah, I am expensive. That's right. You do. You know, <laughs> you said it. It's just too. All right. Here we go. Who 
and who does that to a shirt? Like, seriously, does anybody in their right mind go into a store? Do you go into, you know, I don't know, the gap, the buckle? What do the kids go to these days? Do you go in and you see a graphic tee and you go up to it and start going, oh, does it going to stretch or that? Why the hell do we do that to ourselves? Normal people don't do that. We do it to impress ourselves. That's all. That's all we do is we do it to impress ourselves. Which, which I mean, hey, you want to see? There, I can do the same thing with DTF because that was a tester for that. Okay. So now on the other one, this was the one with the mask. Same thing. You're not going anywhere. Oh, look, see? Stretch, stretch, stretch. There it is. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, like you said, we saw that this one was a little shiny, right, compared to that one. Let's go see if we can change that. There it is. Kyle has it. Kyle has it over any up graphic and supply. In fact, Kyle, I think I do have an affiliate with Kyle. I'm pretty sure I do. I think I do through share sale. I should look that up and put it in here, shouldn't I? I should do that. I'm going to look real quick because then if that's the case, folks, I'm going to send that link over there because I'm almost positive I have a, a link for Andy Up Graphics for um, that stuff, the affiliates. But we're going to see. And I'll tell you, hey, it's an affiliate link, right? I mean, that's what we got. Because I think it takes me straight there. I'm going to look real quick. I'm going to look. You guys don't even know what you're, I'm looking at. But I'm looking at the back end of stuff to see what's really going on and what's really exciting over here. Log in. Yes, I am. I want to. I No, I don't want to. I just want to log in, homie. That's all I want to do. I'm not a merchant. I just want to log into the affiliate side. Yes. 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 Log in, baby. Maybe. There it goes. Uh, why? Ooh, error code for share sale today. Error code for share sale. There it goes. All right, now let's see. Who do I have one in here with? I believe, let's see. Um, there's that. Kyle. Do, 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 do. Wonderful. Maybe I don't. I thought I did, though. I thought I did, Kyle. Do I not have one in there? I see the one for another company and another company and another company and another company. But I don't see the one in there for that. Now I'm going to have to look. Now I gotta look, Kyle, because I'm I thought I did. I thought I really thought I did. Are you not or maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm not. You tell me. Oh, you guys don't even know what I'm looking at. You got yeah, merchant search. Yes. We're gonna go here because I think and I just wanna see. I just wanna see. Yeah, there we go. And go. Maybe not. I guess I could come back and see that other screen, can I? Well, maybe not. All right. That's no problem. Anyway, Kyle has it. Go see him, regardless if we had one or not. Um, he's always taking care of me. He's taking care of a ton of people in the industry. Uh, they were just at the Great American Craft Show. Teal is not a real color. So if you ever are looking for a really good discussion, Kyle would love to talk to you about teal. He would love, love, love to talk to you about teal. I thought I had one, but I just wanted to share a sale and I didn't see it. Is that what you got? Yeah, I just went in there and I don't I don't see one from you guys. That's what's really weird. I thought I did. Yeah. Oh well, we'll use it next time. We'll use it next time, Kyle. Or we find it and then we can post it from there. But I do not, I don't see it in here. Hmm. Yeah. My top ones, the trending ones. Yeah. Hmm. There's my other ones. There's everybody else. I do not know. I wonder if I look under here. If I just go with this part, bear with me a quick moment, folks. Because if we're going to go in here, we're going to see this. Uh, no, nope, I don't see it over there. All right. We're going to try and make this other one flat and go from there. We are ready to buy, right? Ready to buy, ready to buy. Uh, what is a hand between this and DTF the same size? Great question. So I have a number on here. It's number nine, right? Number nine, six, whatever. It can be a nine or a six. That's a nine. That's 100% a nine. So there's nine. Feel on this versus feel on that. Little more feel on the DTV. Not a lot, not a huge. You got to remember, this is a solid one piece. And for what being a solid one piece, I mean, you're going to have that, but it doesn't have the paper feel to it. It still has stretchability to it. It still has a little breathability. Um, so not, not as less as the dt or as the dtf but still a lot better than a lot of the printed products that i've used off that uh let's see uh i'm not they're not seeing it 
Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> Kyle, do you have it on your site? Yes, they don't see it. Nobody sees it, Kyle. Nobody sees it. I have you on my shares. That's what I thought too. And I don't, let's see, uh, list them all. I mean, that's what I thought, man. I'm gonna, let me go with this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look this real quick. We're just going to search this way to see if I can, if I can find it. Uh, maybe, maybe if I go into this one. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, another power of live TV, which if you love this live stuff, don't forget, we do this every Tuesday, Tuesday with Todd. Uh, we also are live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for your morning mindset. What is that you ask? Well, thanks for asking. Uh, that's basically, let's get your ass in gear for the day, Right. Let's get you in there. Let's go through and figure out um, figure out what you have set for the day. For me, I need five things out of you. What are your five things you're going to accomplish for the day? You say them there, write them down. I like to check things off the box, so that's where I, I really go with that at. Um, and then Thursday, we have a DTF bundle drop, so you'll stick around for that. All that stuff can be found on our YouTube channel all the time. You're always able to find it over there. I did a double search for it, Kyle, and I don't see it. Anyway, any up graphics. It's fine. I'm gonna, Kyle's going to put it over there. Uh, try now. Active now. All right. Let me see. Let me try now. Let me try now. Kyle. Let's see. <laughs> All it can be is not. And then we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Why is it not letting us? Uh, get... Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, share a sale. You're so funny today. We love you. All right, Kyle, make sure it's on your website so that way we can get people over there for it. All right, uh, there we go. There it is. Mandy's got a link <laughs> of that on there. So there it is. Mandy's got a link on there for it. Uh, Mo found it. Great. Uh, try it now. Activate now. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Now it's showing up. Good job. All right, now it's showing up. Uh, does it feel like regular Caesar vinyl? More like the 3G opaque tape paper. Way more like vinyl than the paper way more like it and not the um and it feels like a le less than vinyl too if that makes sense like somewhat like a thinner vinyl um what's it who's here do we have let me see let me see something else if it gives us a micronial thickness to it um all right easy color is 100 microns uh so compare that to let's see what uh, easy weed is so easy color is a hundred microns, right? Easy color is a hundred microns. Easy weed is ninety microns. So easy weed is actually a little less. Listen, ten microns. You're not going to tell the difference between that. Right? You're just not. I, you, you you try, but I really don't think you're going to on it. Uh, refresh. It's there. All right. Here, right, click on the HDV. It's under the tab. There you go. There you go. Wondering if it feels like them shirts in the store. It could. I don't know. The search works. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> Kyle should give us a discount for the hassle. It's a new product. You know what Kyle's going to do? Make sure it stays in stock because that's what usually happens. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. And that's just not him. It's like every time new products come out, there's limited releases of it. So vendors only get so much. You only get so much of it. And then what happens? It's out of stock and you have to reorder. They only do a limited supply for it. So get it now before it goes out of stock and you have to wait for the restocking on it. Uh, all right. Next up, where I'm going to switch that camera back. And then I'm going to I'm going to try and make this one, the glossy one, look like the matte one. And we're going to see how that rolls out. So let's go ahead and we're going to switch that screen over. Uh, we're going to move that camera over this one. And we're going to hit it again with that cover sheet. We're going to hit it with the... Um, with the parchment paper, the blowout paper that we would use for sublimation. So let's bring this guy over here and I'm going to lay it down this way. All right. So there it is. We'll keep that kid. We'll keep that, that handsome looking feller off the, off the, uh, off the heat press there. There it is. There it is. All right. So there goes the mic. Oh, sorry, guys. I need to knock you over there. But here we go. Let's see what we got here. Press that. We're going to do the same thing. 15 seconds. Because why not? Let's see what happens when we double press it at 15 seconds. 310 degrees. Wait, what is that? It's, it's, it's coming in at 310 degrees for 15 seconds long. Easy color DTV. There it is. Peel that off of there. And that... 
we'll come back over to the screen over here so it's a little easier to see. And we'll switch this back. Switch this camera back. And folks, we got rid of the shine. The shine went away. So there's still a little, a little, but I mean, we use that, we use the Teflon sheet first, but not nearly as much as was there before. So yes, you can do that. All right. Questions, comments, concerns. Anybody have anything else for me before we get out of this? Uh, let's see. Uh, would my CE five thousand work for this the same way? Yes, as long as you have, as long as you have the print cut features on your um, cutter. Uh, the Graph Tech does have that. Uh, you, you, so does it the arms? I think that's what it is. Yeah, you're able to do it with it. Um, let's see. Um, search there now. Let's see. <laughs> Sharon, I'm coming over for testing. See. Everybody's getting it. Come over to test it. It's going to be a pretty cool thing for it, you know? Uh, and that goes for anybody else. Hey, if you're watching this and you're from another company and you want me to try out your stuff, go ahead, send it to us. You can contact us, sales at FatDadCD. You can reach all of our links right there, FatDadCD.com. That'll get you over to our link tree for all that stuff because this is what we do. We love to test stuff for people. We love to show people. At the end of the day, we want everybody, we know that everybody can have a successful business, right? It's inside of you. Uh, you just need a little help. Uh, things don't go perfect all the time. Uh, there's a lot of testing that's involved, and that's what that's what I do. Uh, when somebody has an issue with something, I'm like, here, let's see what we can do to figure it out. Let's figure it out together. There's new products that come out. Let's do that. Uh, we are just five short months away from Christmas. So you need to be in on that because uh, that's the way to go. It. I know we haven't done any sublimation for a while, so maybe we'll get back into the groove of that and start subbing some more products. Uh, somebody asked me, about DTF on bags. Uh, there's a couple bags that we've got to, uh, to do for an upcoming order. So I think I might do that uh, next week, DTF on the pull bags. We'll figure it out as it gets closer because we never know. We're still in the works for the white toner. There's 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 some travel issues with the white toner. But once we get that, then we'll start to be able to show more projects on that because I can't wait for that. Um, I love it. I love doing all that stuff. Um, well, Susan, we can start over from the beginning, and and that we didn't. Nah. Did you print this? This printed with regular inkjet printer. That's all you need. You don't need anything special. You don't need a cutter. You don't need a heat press. You just need an inkjet printer. Go to Walmart, spend forty dollars on an inkjet printer. Come home, spend four hours trying to set that up, and realize that it's a piece of crap and it's not going to set up. So take it back, spend fifty dollars on the printer. Come back, have it set up in five minutes, and then you're printing these. Uh, you can print. Um, it'll be able to cut it on whether you want to use scissors to do it or you want to use your cameo, your cricket, your scan and cut, anything like that, uh, you're able to, to do it on that. You can use scissors on it. You can apply with an iron or you can apply with a heat press. So those are super excited. Um, I love his back. Put me in the go. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, show the tumbler again. Do you have tutorials on that? We could totally do a tumbler tutorial. Corey just came back from TumblrCon. And we, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret here. Um, it hasn't been would really put out there, but there is a Tumblr Fest that is going to be in our neck of the woods next July. And by our neck of the woods, literally going to be down the street from us. So we're going to be a sponsor of that, and we're going to do our best to bring as many people as we can to it because I think we can have an amazing group. And you know, it's the center of the country, so why not? Uh, but we could. I haven't done a tum I haven't done a a rhinestone Tumblr video in a long time. What do you think? Next week, rhinestone Tumblr. I haven't done one. Oh, probably two years a video on it yeah i think we should do that yeah that sounds good um ruben do i do my own dtf yes so for those that don't know what do we do here so we're besides fat dad custom designs uh, we have fat dad wholesale as well so we are your full service shop for all your print needs whether that is dtf whether that is decals whether that's signs whether that is banners whether that is sublimation prints printed canvas uh magnets uh promotional items anything that you need we can help you with it on the supply side of things we have glitter we have epoxy uh, we have what am i looking at right now havana nights glitter right in front of me there sublimation paper sublimation ink so we have a full range of things and you can find just about everything that we have over at our website fatdadcustomdesigns.com or fat dad wholesale so we do everything that we can to give you uh the tools to be successful at it you know that, that's what we got to do at the end of the day uh tumblr con is going to be in texas tumblr fest is actually going to be here in the quad cities when Corey was down at tumblr con uh she taught was talking to somebody actually somebody was brought her to the booth they're like you're from here aren't you she looked at it and she's like yeah and so then we got to talking and um they're gonna have stuff here so we're looking at, at how we can help facilitate it make it better because hey 
they're not from our area. So, you know, are they going to know where to, where to send people for the good food? I'm a fat guy. I know where the good food is. Is there some amazing local places that aren't too far from where that's at because it isn't downtown? Yes. Is it safe downtown? Absolutely. I know there'd be a couple places that have live bands out there. So live music is always a plus. There's the adult arcade. And I had this discussion with Corey. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I know I could go down to our friends down there and be like, listen, uh, we've got this fest coming. It's going to be tumblers. Uh, here's the gist of it. Um, you know, it could be 500 people. It could be 5,000. I'm not 100% sure. Would you guys give $5 in free tokens, you know, and throw that in a goodie bag? Well, to Corey's like, uh, do you think they would? I'm like, it's tokens. What are you going to do? You're going to go in there. It's a bar that has retro video games in it. You're going to play and you're going to have a couple beers. So that's what they're going to do to bring men. And then she said, well, I don't know. You know, it's majority women. Do you, would they really go into, into a retro arcade? So, ladies, I ask you, would you go to a retro arcade and have some fun playing some old school video games and maybe have a couple of drinks? And they have pizza. It's pretty good down there. And then there are some other bars and restaurants down the area. So a lot of good time down there. Yes, yes. And then I can say, hey, uh, Stephanie, you know, I think there's going to be classes here. Hey, Patrick. Uh, there's going to be classes down here. Can I call on my industry friends to, to maybe come in and teach some classes? I think that's something. Can I call my industry friends to come in a booth? I talked to, to Mr. Matt Vasallo and was like, yo, Matty Matt, I know you don't do trade shows anymore, but um, I got chocolate shakes here that I've traveled to you. So maybe, maybe, you know, we get some there. Uh, I need that material for, I need the materials first because I want to follow along. I'll tell you what, I will get, links to the, all the materials because I know I will let you know where everything is. Uh, it's all through the rhinestone world. We'll get the links from them. I will post that. I'll post that in our group. So if you're not uh, you know, a part of our group, go to OSG Business Basics. That will get you in there uh, or our link tree. Our link tree will get you into everything and to know where we're at for it. But we can get in there. I'll start posting that. I'll post the links to the kits because I think they have the kits now where everything is there. I'll buy the exact same kit so we do it all along together. So that way it gives you time. If you order tomorrow, we'll have it by next Tuesday. And if things look shipping, it might be two Tuesdays here, but that will definitely do it on there. Yep. Backdrops for events. Yeah. So uh, depending on the size of it, we get 84 inches and then it will go ahead and then be seamed on that. But any of those print needs, signs, banners, um, backdrops. Yep. We take care of all that stuff for you. Um, send them the frozen drink bar. That's, yeah, that's, well, that's, you know, the next town over. We would be in our town and we don't have that here, but we do have the frozen drink bar, which is amazing, where it's just the daiquiri factory and that's all it is is daiquiris. If you come to the area, I think we'd have to make a trip because there's a naughty squirrel girl that is basically a thin mint Girl Scout cookie as an alcoholic beverage. Phenomenal. And you will get diabetes. Uh, it is is a good thing for sure. Uh, there it is. You're sure. Awesome. That's what you and we have an airport, so you just be able to fly right in. Okay. So that's what we got. We're going to figure it out. This is either going to be next week or the week after. We'll do uh, rhinestones on tumblers for sure. Uh, we'll get that there. We'll, I just want to make sure I can get the link so everybody can get it. Or at least I'll have it ready. So if you can follow along, great. If not, you'll be able to, to join me after the fact. Um, remember, uh, we do this because we love you guys. You know, what, what do we ask from you? Hey, if we throw some affiliate links up, share the love because it doesn't cost you anything to use those. It just does, you know, it puts a little change in our pocket. The other thing, those likes, those subscribes, those shares, those things are killer. Those things really help us out here. You know, we're trying to grow our page. We're also trying to grow our group. When we hit 5,000 members, we are giving away heat press. So that's always a plus thing. Remember, we do this We do this every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central. Morning Mindset, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 a.m. Thursdays at 2 p.m. Central. We do a DTF, a dumb, dumb DTF bundle drop on that. <laughs> you are my new hat for learning things. I will try. I will take that as a compliment. Uh, yeah, I, me and him have worked together on a lot of fun projects, and uh, yeah, I'm always looking to learn from him. I, I learn a lot from him still uh, just about every day. With that, uh, there's our link to that. Uh, and we did do our sign-off that we're going to go with. Peace, love, press on. You guys have an amazing day. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time.